Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 6th grade concept of personal financial literacy credit reports. This is standard 6.14e in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 15 off the 2018 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So we are looking at credit reports. So consumers, and that would be us, anyone that purchases anything, buys anything, takes out a loan, we make choices that cause negative information. To be on a credit report, one of the things we learn in sixth grade is how long will that net negative information stay on your credit report. It doesn't last forever if something bad happens. So we've got to figure out how long it stays. But first, let's figure out what is on a credit report. So a credit report is something that you can pull. It is something a company can pull if they are thinking of maybe letting you borrow some money. And it contains all kinds of information. So first, it's going to contain your personal information because they need to identify you. Personal identification. So it could be your social security number. It could be your birthday. It could be your address. It could be all kinds of information, date of birth, but they're going to have to have quite a bit of your personal information. So if you pull up your own credit report, and there are some ways you can get those free online, you're going to see all your personal information because there are some situations to where two people have the same name and they have to differentiate between you and this other person. Now, the biggest thing that's going to be on there is going to be your credit account information. So we have credit accounts everywhere. And it could be if you own a home, then it would be with your bank that has the mortgage. Every credit card you have, checking account, credit account, all kinds of information, student loans, could be even uh, car loans, so loans, credit cards, obviously, and it's just going to have them all listed. And it's going to see how many credit accounts we have and the date they were opened, the account balances, payment history, um, whether you've kept up with all your payments. There's going to be a lot of information, including credit limits. So all that information will be on that account. Now, there are some other pieces of information that are very important. So one would be the inquiries. So there are two types of inquiries that we can have on a credit report or on a credit account. So a soft inquiry is when you check your own score. And it's good to check your own scores every once in a while just to see what your credit score is. It's on a range. And from uh, zero up to about 900 or uh, 1,000, and you just kind of want to see what your number is. That doesn't impact your credit score at all. Now, you will have hard inquiries, and that's when an actual company or bank or mortgage company, credit card company, wants to possibly loan you money. They are going to check your information. They're going to run your credit report, and that's a hard inquiry, and it can stay up there um, for two years, and it can negatively impact your credit report, even having a company check to see if you have good credit or not. So you don't want to be opening up a whole bunch of accounts all at once. And then finally, if it ever gets really bad, if you have a bankruptcy, then that is going to stand on that credit report, and it's going to stay there. Bankruptcies will be there. But here's, and that's when you have to file for bankruptcy because you are running out of money and it involves the courts. The question is, is how long does this stay? Well, this would be really nice if it only stayed three to six years. And if it stayed 15 to 18 or even 11 to 14, you would never be able to overcome anything. Your negative information stays on your credit report between seven to 10 years. So even if you get something really bad like a bankruptcy, it is not forever. And our answer is B.